Have you ever heard the one about the ant who complained because he had no shoes until he met a caterpillar with no feet? Well, bugs may not really talk like we do, but they do have some fascinating ways of communicating. Picture your favorite bug. Is it a butterfly, a ladybug, or perhaps the mighty ant? Every single one of them has a different way of saying, hello, or back off, buddy. Now we may not understand their language, but it's a bug's life out there, and they've got a lot to chat about. From the chirping crickets on a summer's night to the buzzing bees in the morning, these tiny critters are never really silent. They sing, they dance, they even smell, all in the name of conversation. So, are you ready to delve into the bug world and learn how these tiny creatures talk to each other? Buckle up, it's going to be a fun ride. Insects aren't just buzzing around aimlessly, they're actually having conversations. But how, you might wonder? Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of bug whispers and discover how these tiny creatures communicate in ways we can't even hear or smell. Insects have a whole other level of communication happening all around us. Yes, they don't use words or sign language, but they have their unique methods. For instance, they use smells or, more scientifically, pheromones. These are chemical signals that they release into the air, which are picked up by other bugs of the same species. Take ants, for example. Have you ever wondered how ants always seem to know where the best picnic crumbs are? They use pheromones to leave a scent trail for their fellow ants to follow. It's like they're saying, hey pals, follow me to the jackpot. And it's not just smells. Insects also communicate through vibrations. Most of us have seen bees buzzing around flowers, but did you know that they also do a special dance to tell their hive mates where to find the best flowers? This is known as the waggle dance. It's like their version of a treasure map, but instead of X marking the spot, it's a series of wiggles and waggles. Imagine if we humans could communicate like that. Going to the grocery store could be a whole new experience. Instead of asking someone where to find the cereal aisle, you could just follow their scent trail or interpret their dance moves. But before you start practicing your waggle dance, remember that these forms of communication are specially designed for the world of insects. Each bug species has its own unique way of communicating, suited to its environment and lifestyle. So, while it might be fun to imagine, we'll leave the bug whispers to the bugs. So, insects might not be whispering sweet nothings but they sure know how to get their point across. Stay tuned to uncover more fascinating bug facts in our next segment. Now not all insects are into quiet talk. Some bugs like to make themselves heard and boy are they loud. In the world of bugs, there are two that really know how to crank up the volume. You've probably heard them yourself on a warm summer night. Yes, we are talking about the cicadas and the crickets. Cicadas are the rock stars of the bug world. They can belt out a tune that's as loud as a motorcycle or a rock concert. That's about 100 decibels. Now that's a bug with some serious pipes. Cicadas make this sound by vibrating a part of their exoskeleton called a timbal. This is how a cicada sings its song, attracting mates and warding off predators. Then we have the crickets. These little guys are the serenaders of the night. You might think it's a tiny violin playing, but a cricket's chirp is actually made by rubbing their wings together. This creates a sound known as stridulation. The faster they rub, the higher the temperature, the quicker their chirps. So, if you listen closely, crickets can tell you how hot it is outside. But why do these bugs make these sounds? Well, it's all about communication. Just like we might shout to be heard in a loud room, cicadas and crickets use their loud calls to communicate over long distances. For them, it's mostly about finding a mate. It's their way of saying, hey, I'm over here and I'm single. Interestingly, these loud sounds can also serve as a form of protection. Predators might be deterred by the sheer volume, deciding it's not worth the headache. So these bugs sure know how to make themselves heard. But remember, they're not just making noise. They're talking, singing, and even protecting themselves. It's a loud world out there, and these bugs are making sure they're not left unheard. So, the next time you hear a loud chirping at night, you know it's just a cricket singing a sweet serenade. Ever wondered what insects talk about? Is it about the weather, the latest bug fashion, or something else? Well, let's dive into the world of insect chatter and figure out what these tiny creatures are buzzing about. Now when we say talk, we don't mean in English, Spanish, or French, sorry, no multilingual bugs here. Insects communicate in their own unique ways using vibrations, pheromones, and sounds. And while their conversations might not be about the latest trends or the weather forecast, they do serve important purposes. Firstly, let's talk about food. Insects like ants and bees are known for their impressive teamwork. They use chemical signals to lead their comrades to a good food source. 
It's kind of like leaving a trail of breadcrumbs but instead of bread, they use a special scent that their buddies can follow. Talk about a helpful hint. Next up, we have the danger alerts. Insects don't have the luxury of safety apps or alarm systems. Instead, they rely on their own signals to warn each other of nearby threats. For instance, when a honeybee stings an enemy, it releases a pheromone that signals other bees to join in the defense. It's their version of a group text saying, Danger! Backup needed! Lastly, let's get a little romantic. Many insects use sounds and scents to attract a mate. Male crickets, for example, serenade potential partners with their signature chirp. And some butterflies release pheromones that can be detected by females miles away. It's like sending a love letter, but with smells and sounds. So, while these conversations might seem alien to us, they're crucial for these small creatures. They use these chats to survive, thrive, and keep their communities running smoothly. And while they might not be discussing the latest book club pick or debating over the best pizza topping, these insect dialogues are vital to their existence. So, while they might not gossip like we do, insects do have some important conversations. Now that you're a bug communication expert, it's time to test your knowledge. Get ready to buzz in with your answers because we're about to dive into our quiz. Question 1. Who are the chatty bugs we talked about? Is it A. Bees, B. Butterflies, or C. Spiders? The correct answer is A. Bees. These buzzing buddies are known for their waggle dance, a unique way they communicate with each other about the location of food. Moving on to question 2. How do bugs whisper? Do they A. Use their wings, B. Use their antennae, or C. Use their legs? If you guessed, B. Use their antennae, you're right. Bugs like ants and bees use their antennae to pick up chemical signals or pheromones from their fellow insects. It's like they have their very own secret language. And now for our final question, question 3. Which is the loudest bug in the world? Is it A. The cicada, B. The cricket, or C. The grasshopper? If you picked A, the cicada, then you're correct. Cicadas are the rock stars of the bug world, reaching volumes up to 120 decibels. That's as loud as a rock concert. Before we reveal how well you did, remember that we're all here to learn, and every question is a chance to discover something new. So whether you got all the answers right or not, give yourself a big round of applause for participating. How did you do? No matter the score, remember you're a champ for learning something new today. And don't forget, the world of bugs is vast and fascinating, full of countless creatures waiting to be discovered. So keep exploring, keep asking questions, and most importantly, never stop learning. Well, that's all for today, folks. We hope you enjoyed our little bug talk. We dived into the fascinating world of chatty bugs, didn't we? We explored how these tiny creatures have their own unique ways of communicating. Some whisper, while others are as loud as a rock concert. We learned that bugs aren't just mindlessly buzzing or chirping but they're actually having meaningful conversations. They talk about their needs, dangers, and even their love interests. We also discovered who the loudest bugs in the world are. Remember, it's not always the biggest bugs that make the most noise. Sometimes it's the small, but mighty ones that take the crown. And of course, we put our knowledge to the test with our quiz. We hope you did well and learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe to Guru Kids Smart Kids channel for more exciting learning adventures. Keep buzzing with knowledge.